Hi, I'm the Beauty Professor, and you can find my beauty blog at www.beautyprofessor. Today, I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial, and I'm doing it a little differently because I'm working with a model. In this case, this is Maddie, and she is going to prom in a mere two hours. She has requested 1940s Screen Siren Waves, and so I'm going to be working with a couple of products and my very favorite Callista Hot Rollers to help her achieve this look. I'm going to begin by brushing her hair out. She has beautiful blonde hair, and so I'm going to go ahead and make sure I've got all the tangles out. And she's done a great job of pre-brushing in this case. Thank you for that. I'll be working with Michael O'Rourke's Rock Your Hair Size Matters Big Volume Root Lift. And here it is right here for you. This is a product that is intended to volumize at the roots here to create nice fullness when you create the hairstyle. And so I'm going to have her flip upside down. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this through her root. Thank you. And I'm gonna just spray. Now I'm very careful when it comes to product because I'm a firm believer that once you add, you can't remove, especially in the hair. So I'm going to be conservative when I add this at her roots here and just comb it through with my fingers. Okay, and now I'm just gonna mix it through with my fingers, make sure that it's getting combed through her entire hair area. So I've just smoothed the volumizer through Maddie's hair, and now she's going to go ahead and flip her head back up. Go ahead. Beautiful. And it really, if she wanted, she could stop right there, but of course we're gonna get to curls. So let's get her set up. And you can already see the difference that this makes. She's got so much fullness at the root here. It's just... All right, so now I'm going to be working with my Callista Hot Roller. These are the Ion Rollers, and I've talked about them many times over. I truly use these multiple times a week to create curls in my very long, straight, thick hair, and it does a beautiful job. I've had, had these heated for about 25 minutes, and so they're nice and hot, but typically when I use them, I put them on, I turn them on in the morning, I let them heat up for about three minutes, and then I put them in my hair for about five or six while I do my makeup. So she's gonna get an extra hot roller, which should give her the longevity that she needs through prom tonight, but in most cases, you don't need to heat them up as long. We're gonna start up with the top hair. The top hair is important. You want to get a great curl in the top part of your hair. And she has long layers, so we're gonna start with these long bangs. And I'm gonna take a curler. I'm going to start up at the top here. Let's see if you can get this into camera. And I'm gonna roll the tips, and then we're gonna roll it back. Now ultimately, that 1940s screen siren look will curl inward, but right now we're gonna curl back because if we curl this way, it's gonna curl down too much against her head. Okay. And now we're going to go to the sides here. Typically when I'm in a hurry in the mornings, which is every morning, I just put six in. One at the top, two at the sides, three at the back, and that fills up my whole head. In her case, we have the luxury of time, and so I think I'm going to use a few more than six, which means I'm gonna divide her sides into two parts instead of my typical sides here. The only place I curl back is the bang area because you want to have the most flexibility with that area, but we'll do under with the sides. Thank you. All right, so I have the first two curlers in. I'm going to go ahead and add a second on the side here. And I just use my fingers. I suppose that somebody could use a comb if they wish, but I've done it. I can do this in my sleep, so I know how to kind of divide the sections without that necessary precision from an accoutrement like a comb. All right, now in this case, I'm just rolling the ends under before I start rolling. You want to make sure that the ends have a perfect curl. They need to be curled. You don't want to start rolling and have a straight end. Rolling. Rolling, taking time to make sure the ends are curled under, and then rolling to the base of the head. Perfect, so now we have the top of her head done. Certainly she has a beautiful mane, 
of hair in the back here that I'm going to take back. I'm going to go ahead and do the back of her hair right now with my four remaining curlers. So I'll divide and I'm having her sit to the side here so you can see how I'm going to go ahead and divide the hair remaining. So first off, we'll take this top part here and just right at the base of the crown and it's gonna be basically parallel to the top curlers on her head as it is right now. Curled and then roll to the base of her head. Next section right here, I'm gonna try to get down so you can see this. Okay, and I'm going to roll again, making sure to lift a little bit so that it nestles perfectly under the next. That gives you a maximum amount of surface area that's been curled all the way at the base of her head here. And then the final piece of hair here, last curler, in making sure the ends are tucked, lifting and rolling. And now everything's lined up beautifully. Here we go. Because she's got such a long night ahead and we have the luxury of time, I'm going to go ahead and leave these in her hair for about 15 minutes. We have let about 15 minutes elapse since I put the curlers in Natty's hair. And in the interim, um, we had a great conversation. So now we're going to go ahead and get prepared to take the curlers out. And before I remove them, I'm going to spray her hair with the Michael O'Rourke Rock Your Hair Spray It Hard Big Volume Hairspray. And this hairspray is very powerful. I'm going to use it in moderation. But the reason I'm going to spray with the curlers still in her hair is because right now there's hair that is exposed because of the curlers that will not be easy to get to once we take them out. And so I'm going to take advantage of that exposure and spray that now and then certainly we'll give it another spray when all the curlers are out so I'm gonna go ahead and spray right now very lightly and from a fairly distant place don't want to get it too close to the hair just to let it mist on and fall one other thing I'd like to mention is that we left the top curlers in her hair. I always do the top first because you want those top curlers to have the most time with the hair. The front of your hair is what people see. And so you want that curl to be most prevalent and most powerful in the front of the head. And so that's why we made sure to give the, that area of her hair more time with the rollers. All right, we're going to go ahead and remove the rollers now. And I'm going to start from the bottom. One great thing about the Callista rollers is that on the tip here, and I can show you right before I remove them, on the tip, you see a red dot. And when it heats up, it turns to burgundy. And then when it cools down again, it turns red again. So even though sensor, from a sensory perspective, you likely know when it's hot and when it's not, this is just an extra validation. And in, in this case, all of our curlers have turned to red as opposed to burgundy. So we know they've had a proper time to cool down. I'm going to roll it like this, undoing it so that it comes out easily. Ugh, oh, and there's this beautiful curl curl. This is totally going to last her the entire evening, which was my goal here. There's nothing quite like feeling your curls coming out when you don't want them to as the night goes on. The only thing worse is when you're feeling your jeans stretching out and there's nothing you can do about that. I hate that feeling. Do you hate that feeling? Yes. I hate that. I despise that feeling. And at this point, I have three rollers out and I'm going to take advantage of the fact that this hair is exposed. I'm going to spread it out a little bit and I'm going to spray. This evening, she needs something formidable and so I shall spray. Rolling that out, look at that bouncy curl. Beautiful. And then the final bit of hair to unroll. Gorgeous. Okay, so before I apply any styling technique to the hair, I'm going to have Maddie turn around and just show you what her hair looks like. And just, this, just with removing the rollers, I mean, these rollers do such an amazing job of creating beautiful curl. We could just stop right there, but we're not going to. I'm going to go ahead and apply some strategic styling to the hair in just a moment. So since Maddie is going for a 1940s look, 
I'm going to go ahead and brush her hair out a little bit, being mindful of the fact that we don't want to brush too much as it's going to perhaps compromise the longevity of the curls, even though we've done a good safeguard with hairspraying it and leaving the curlers in for a long time. So I'm going to use a different brush in this case to separate her hair a little bit. This is my other small brush from Sephora. It has nice bore bristles that will smooth the hair, smooth the surface of the hair, but not get so deep in that it straightens things out before you want it. And I'm using this brush to just very carefully bring the hair together like this. So it's still gonna be curled, but it's going to be a nice, beautiful, soft Monica Lake like singular unit, which will be beautiful. So originally Maddie showed me this picture of, was it Amanda Seyfried? Mm -hmm. Do you have it on your phone? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have you, I'm gonna have Maddie show you the picture that she showed me so we can see how close we're getting to this shot. There she is, and there is the beautiful Miss Madeline, and we are almost at the cusp here of achieving that look exactly. And we, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and part her hair she already has a nice propensity towards the side part. I'm using my finger in this case, once again. Just find it gives you the most control. Now, we can do what is a medium side part here. I think this works nicely because it gives her a little volume in here. Then we're just going to take the hair and I'm going to place the bobby pin like this. Interesting side tale about bobby pins. Uh, working in LA for many years as I did, a makeup artist who was working with me on a job I was doing told me that you should never actually open the bobby pin with your teeth because she knew someone who did that frequently as a hairstylist and it eventually loosened the, her top front tooth. I was like, really, is that true? She was dead serious. So I, I'm glad I don't work with bobby pins that often. Hopefully I'm not putting myself at risk once in a blue moon. Okay, so I've put, if you can turn to the side, I've put the bobby pin in, thank you, and now I'm going to take the other bobby pin and I'm going to crisscross it like so. And that's just to give it nice anchoring in the meanwhile. Now what Maddie can do is she can either leave her hair like this or if she prefers to achieve that look that we both saw, she can pull everything to the side. And now she's giving it some help by having her bobby pin in place already. And here is her final look. I could not be more delighted with how this is turning out. Maddie, do you like it? I love it. It's beautiful on you. Okay, so I'm going to give this a final spray right now. Once again, see, because I've been conservative in my application of hairspray, that allows us to put some on at the end without feeling like we've weighed down the hair. It's all about doing this in moderation. And I'm starting from the top here letting it fall mist down onto the hair. Oops. I'm gonna hold the hair like that. There we go. It smells good. So it's, a good it's kind of a fresh smell for hairspray, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm really happy with this line. Okay, and her 1940s film star look is final. I think you look gorgeous, Maddie, and I'm Thank so happy you. I had the chance to be able to do this to your hair. And I hope you- Do you want me to turn around? Huh? You want me to do a yeah, turn? let's do that. Let's turn. Sounds good. If you want to just do a good thigh workout here. Okay, and turn. Oh my gosh, so pretty. It's perfect. I love it. And so, we are finished with her look. I hope you have a beautiful time at prom. Thank you. Thank you.